Please activate the subtitles. My name is Roger Collar and this video is going to be very quick and special because today is the first episode of a series of videos named Shadowing. Shadowing is one of my favorite techniques when I'm studying a language in which you can improve your speaking skills, your listening skills and your reading skills. And seriously, I really use it to learn different languages, so I truly recommend it. And today I'm going to teach you how to use shadowing when you're studying English. Time is money, so without any further ado, let's get started. So, as I was saying, shadowing is an incredible technique for you to improve many different aspects of your English. You can improve your speaking skills by practicing rhythm. Yes, you're going to learn rhythm in English. You will improve your pronunciation and your accent. You will also improve your listening because you train your ear to listen to English more carefully. Besides that, you will learn new vocabulary and new expressions. You'll see many people teaching shadowing on the internet, but the way I will teach you this technique is going to be completely different from everybody else's ways. How is shadowing taught on the internet, Roger? Basically, shadowing is taught on the internet like this. You have to listen to a person speaking English and you have to repeat what this person is saying simultaneously. So you can't pause it, you have to just repeat it. But I'm going to teach you this technique in a different way because my focus here with this technique is not only on speaking but also on comprehension and on the acquisition of new vocabulary. So please get a pen and a piece of paper and write down the rules for the shadowing technique. First, you need to find some audio in English, preferably by a native speaker, in which you also have access to the text of this audio. It's important that the audio you find is at your level, so if you're a basic student, don't get something very, very complex and complicated. And if you are an advanced student, don't get something so basic, because it needs to be challenging. After you find this audio with the text, in silence, read and listen to the text. Look up new words and expressions in dictionaries or on the internet. Then, read the text without the audio. Make sure you know how to pronounce all the words. Make a list of the words that you don't know how to pronounce. And check how to pronounce these words on a site named Forvo. The link is in the description of this video. Third, listen to the text and read it aloud simultaneously. And it's important that you try your best to imitate the voice that you're listening to. So copy the pauses, copy the rhythm, try to become this person, you know, imitate the voice. Do it at least twice. So you listen to the text and read it aloud at least twice, you know, simultaneously. The fourth step is without the text, listen to the audio and try your best to repeat everything simultaneously. So you're not reading now, you're just listening and repeating. And please, never pause the audio, so you can't pause it, okay, so you have to listen and repeat simultaneously. So this is the shadowing technique, because you're just like a shadow, you know, repeating. Because you're not going to do this only once, you're going to do this at least three times. And you're going to notice that every time you do that, your performance will get better and better. So I'm going to read a text for you right now. I want you to use the shadowing technique on this text, okay? Follow the rules. First, in silence, read and listen to the text. Second, read the text without the audio. Third, listen to the text and read it aloud simultaneously. Do it at least three times. And fourth, without the text, listen to my voice and repeat after me simultaneously. And you can't pause it. And it's okay to miss some words at first, because you're going to do this three times. And each time, your speaking will get better. So here is the text. This text is based on facts. Roger Culler and his boss boarded on a train headed through the mountains to Cambridge. They couldn't find any place to sit except for two seats right across the aisle from a young woman and her grandmother. After a while, it's obvious that the young woman and Roger are interested in each other because they're giving each other looks. Soon, the train passes into a tunnel and it's pitch black. There's a sound of the smack of a kiss followed by the sound of the smack of a slap. 
When the train emerges from the tunnel, the four sit there without saying a word. The grandmother is thinking to herself. It was very brash for that young man to kiss my granddaughter, but I'm glad she slept him. The boss is sitting there, thinking. I didn't know that Roger was brave enough to kiss the girl, but I sure wish she hadn't missed him when she slept and hit me. The young woman was sitting there, thinking. I am so glad this guy kissed me. He's so handsome. Oh my god, his body is perfect. I just wish my grandmother hadn't slept him. Roger Culler sat there with a satisfied smile on his face. He thought to himself, Life at work is good. How often does a guy have the chance to kiss a beautiful girl and slap his boss all at the same time? So I'm going to bring more texts for us to read together so that you can practice your shadowing technique with me. And I have homework for you today. First of all, please download the PDF file for this class. I've prepared a PDF file with a more detailed explanation of what the shadowing technique is. Take a look in the description of the video how to do that. And the homework for you is, I want you to read the text that we've just read together. Oh, this text is going to be in the PDF file that you're going to download. So I want you to read the same text, but now record your voice and send this voice message to our group on Telegram. I will personally listen to your voice message and give you feedback on that, all right? So this is your homework. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please hit like button, subscribe to the channel, like our page on Facebook, follow me on Twitter and on Instagram. Please join our group on Telegram and practice your English with voice messages and text messages. Thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you next class.